Good afternoon guys, it is afternoon just about, it's about quarter to six now um, and I'm back down the Grand Union Canal as you can see behind me. We're into May and we've still been getting frosts overnight but finally yesterday the weather broke. We had that day of torrential rain here uh, and I'm, I'm out hoping that uh, it stirred things up, it's, it's warmed up the water, it's put some oxygen in the water and it's put some fresh water into the canal, that's my hope come down on a Sunday it's as I say back quarter to six now in the evening that is and uh, I'm hoping to, to catch a few silvers really that's the plan get on the pole catch some silvers my Maver nine and a half meter margin pole I've left it till now um, in the hopes that the towpath will quieten down um, and the boats will quieten down although there is one coming at the moment um, and we're fishing to dark perhaps till ten half ten something like that just look it and see see what happens when it goes cold here it does tend to absolutely die the sport dies completely but tonight it's not supposed to get cold it's uh been a reasonably warm day sort of 15 degrees today it's only supposed to go down to about 11 tonight we are due possibly a shower as well so we may get a little bit wet but only a shower i've got my waterproof with me hence hence these it's not quite as cold as it looks on here so I'll take this off in a minute i think it's uh got a bit of a facer it's a sort of southerly southwesterly wind blowing uh which is not too bad now I've also got with me my uh, bought dead baiting rod with me um, after what happened recently and the, the pike that they seem to be in here and having my cheap keep net attacked in the past um, so I shall put out a sleeper rod as well with a dead bait on just a, a, a half a roach or half a smelt something like that but we'll put that on an alarm and kind of leave that to one side and get on with the pole fish and just see if we pick up a bonus fish that way or if I'm being troubled by that pike that look one of the pike in here that seems to like attacking my keep net we can uh, we can see if we can get him out as well so I think we'll just get the gear set up and uh, I'll run you through baits so very simple plan of attack this evening uh, I'm going to fish the edge as I have done in the past sort of fairly close to me here a bit further down the edge and then when the boats stop, we'll get out in the track as well. So say there is one coming at the moment. I'm gonna fish with my Drennan AS3, 0.4 of a gram float. In the edge here, very sensitive silver's float. And I've got a size 20 hook on. We're going to finish fish this as I say in the edge and then we've got when we go out in the track put a slightly bigger more heavier rig on and uh, see what you can catch out there I've uh, had all sorts from this stretch if you haven't seen any previous videos if you have apologies if perhaps you find it's getting a little bit repetitive me fishing the same place but uh, determined to get some of the bigger fish out of here I've already had two PBs that being a Xander and a silver bream I've nearly done a rud PB here as well and the weather's been terrible so, <laughs> so with the weather getting better can only can only uh, bode well and of course I've had a silly canal pike PB here so yeah it's a uh, it's a cracking stretch and I'm, I'm really enjoying being here and having uh, not been out for a week as I say it's uh, I'm, I'm glad to get back so baits uh, got some maggots got some casters got some worms got some non fish meal ground mate with me uh, I've got some bread and that's it be very very simple today apologies for the wind it is really blowing it's going to be blown all week apparently um, but I did fancy getting out this evening to have a go it's, uh, it is supposed to die off a little bit but I think it's going to stay fairly windy so apologies if it's a bit windy on the microphone I'll do what I can with the sound anyway let's talk in I think it's time get a bait in the water well guys just before I get put in I uh, just wanted to say a big thanks to uh, Dennis Dennis is a chap I have been chatting to on Facebook for quite a while uh, we've been chatting on there and uh, Dennis has become a patron of the channel so much appreciated Dennis thank you for your support it's absolutely fantastic now Dennis has been telling me he's not a great fan of the pole and I'm going to get and do some <laughs> rod and line fishing yep it all means to an end i really only using the pole because it's, it's such a wonderful method for the canal I'm desperate to get back on the rivers it's uh, just a month, month and a bit away so yeah really looking forward to that and i've got some got some things in the pipeline as well 
that uh, I'm sure you'll all be will enjoy watching should I say a few new venues to try what I haven't done is fished any pools really this year firstly because this stretch of the canal has been absolutely wonderful to me but also um, been so busy lots of places are so busy and the, the weather's not been great for the, the pools I've got in mind are, are reasonably deep and slow to warm up so uh, I've not been rushing there to be honest but this as I say very very looking forward to getting a rod and line back in my hand and who knows if we have a predator this evening we'll uh, we will have one <laughs> back in hand but yeah means to an end with the pole and it's just that the canal is, is, is banging through now I can you know I'm able to hold this hold this float in position and I will be able to out there later on so means to an end I've not become a pole convert I'm just using them the most appropriate method shall we say well first bite Ten minutes or so. Got a bite. Looks like a rug. Just saw some red fins splashing. These are red. Wonderful. <laughs> it's a great start. Wonderful. <laughs> Gotta love a rut, haven't you? Beautiful. <laughs> oh god, the silver fishing is just non existent almost. <laughs> that should have bought the predator gear. <laughs> well, the proper setup rather than just a rod. saw that but it was a decent sized pike actually he got his teeth stuck in my uh, keep net <laughs> and spooked himself off Put the lid off and put a float on. It's got a roach head underneath, suspended underneath. Just wondering if I can get this bait right in the face of this pike. It might take it. Yeah, there's definitely something going on. Look. <laughs> which try and induce him to take it. Definitely some something going on. The keep net is rocking away again. foot rod and it's just too long <laughs> ah I think we've got it now it is moving around but he's displacing so much water down there that it would anyway Let's see see he's not got it <laughs> Although this 
there is so much water being displaced down there, it's moving the float around. It's making me think he's got hold of it. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> so guys, I've had about <laughs> 20 minutes messing about trying to catch that pike. It seems interested in my keep net, but not interested in any bait, bizarrely. <laughs> Know what's going on there? But uh, so I just saw him move off a minute ago. So I've left the bait in the edge there, next to the keep that. Well, uh, <coughs> see if he comes back or if another one comes back or what. But uh, to be honest, he seems about as interested in my. Uh, in my bait at the moment, this is still <laughs> it's terrible. Thought all this rain would have been a good thing, but it appears not. Literally, still only had one bite. Oh, I've gone out in the track. Oh, I've had a bite pretty quickly. Still fish right there. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be in here. What's that? Skimmer. <laughs> well. Roachy? It's a roach? That's a roach. A little rud. I have to say, blimey, it's hard going. It's really not good at all. <laughs> My mate Gareth just messaged me as well to say uh, he's finding it hard going as well. He's gone out. However, <laughs> just got out of the track again. Get this shit back. And another fish. So perhaps they're just out there. This looks a nicer fish. That's it. It's a skimmer. Never mind. Never mind. We're catching. <laughs> Lovely little skimmer. Didn't think it was a silver bream for a minute. I don't think it is. It possibly is. But quite. <laughs> quite a big eye and quite red fins I have to say salmon pink fins and a very big eye perhaps that's a second glance I think that's a silver bream there we go well oh, perhaps we are getting something going it's taken a very good hour hour and a half really to, to get anything going Well, just drop my rod in the side there. <laughs> no, just drop the pole in the side there, I should say, to uh, sort myself out, and it's gone. We've got a nice rod. All of a sudden, the canal is absolutely switched off. It's going in the edge, it's going in the middle. <laughs> right, <laughs> that's about that. Well, very strange. That bit of rain and everything's kicked into life. Certainly not prolific, not by this place. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm quite surprised because the weather, everything in the weather points to 
points to good session. And unfortunately, <laughs> it's not quite turning out like that. The wind has dropped a bit, which is nice. not particularly warm. No more pike trouble. And he hasn't been back. That I've seen. Got a bait down there by the keep net anyway, but uh, certainly hasn't been back yet. <sighs> Catching a few fish and putting them in the keep nets. So. Not going to be a bad thing. Trapped him at pike bag. I'm catching a few from here, but uh, me and my mates Mick and James, they're all fairly thin and lean looking, I'm guessing because they've spawned. But uh, that one looked a bit stockier. Bit more weight to the one I've just seen. I saw it earlier. Blimey. <laughs> I'm assuming this is a bream. Ah! That's off. Well, that's quite annoying. I think it was most probably a bream, but uh, the float just uh, pulled under lovely. Very positive bite. should say, just about liftable. Oh, that's a silver bream, definitely. <laughs> definitely a silver bream. Looks like we've got a shoulder silver bream out there at the moment. It's fantastic. Well, I've gone quite out in the track. So I went down the edge again. Something up. It's in a rut. We seem to like hanging around in these reeds in the edge here. There we go. Oh, she's dropped off. <laughs> so lively, these rud. That's about that. <laughs> Bad. Well, it's not easy going today, but. Uh, we're having a few fish now. The vast majority of these fish are, are silver bream today, I have to say. A few of them I thought were skimmers, but retrospect, they're silver bream. Been misidentifying them, certainly not all slimy. It seems to switch on a bit since that rain came and I can only assume it was the light levels. We didn't have that much actual rain, so I can, can can only assume the light levels dropped and, and it's got the fish feeding a little bit. Lots and lots of crud coming down the canal there. Not making things easy at all. All sticks and reeds and branches are floating there. Quite sure why. It seems to be as well. I'm, I'm picking up one or two fish from each spot, and then it's going dead. So I'm just working around the spots, really. Not feeding much at all anymore.
Well, changed the worm. Seems to have done the trick. First put in. Something reasonable. Bring <laughs> more than imagine. <laughs> Do you need more of the splashes? Yeah. Line her up round him, but that'll do nicely. Ah, and he's uh, producing quite a lot of milt as well, so he's definitely in the spawning mood. And his uh, tubercles are on his head, and yeah, he's uh, doing a right good job all over me. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Well, it's a good start. I say, first first time I've changed to worm, I gone straight away. Be nice if there's some big old silver bream hanging around with them. Or some tench. Who knows? Uh, let's try and find out. Canal suddenly started tanking through. Oh, I don't know if there's a boat coming. There is. It'd be quite annoying. Having just got this spot going out here. Comes and disturbs it all. May just be somebody opening their locks further down or balancing the locks up or filling the locks up for tomorrow or something. But it is proper tanking through now. <laughs> well, something's uh, just grabbed hold of the, the bait over there. Pike bait. Whoa! <laughs> sure what this is. <laughs> Absolutely crazy on the other side. It's a pike. Unfortunately not as big as that one that was haranguing my keep net earlier. And actually, <laughs> that's what, what's happened, been happening recently. I brought along my decent keep net. Uh, landing net, I should say. There we go. Gotcha. <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> that's the alarm. It's a big eruption. Out on the side. <laughs> Not happy with you, fella. Right. Give him a minute to get his breath back. And we'll have a look at him. Well, guys, there we are. Not a big one from this stretch, but uh, very welcome nonetheless. <laughs> right, I'm not going to keep him out of the water. Let's get him back. <laughs> well, guys, that was a bit of excitement, wasn't it? Great fun. Right, I think as we're sort of catching some fish, I'm going to set the old torch up on the bank stick. It's a USB rechargeable torch. Get that pointed out over there. And we'll, uh, we'll get this baited up again with a worm. We'll get out there and we'll... Uh, do a bit of pole fishing by torchlight. <laughs> there we go. It's a USB torch. It's got a focusable beam on it, so we'll just focus the beam as small as it'll go. Get it skimming across the surface of the canal. I don't like it pointing in too much. It's got it very low down, just skimming across the top.
certainly not been an easy session today. We've caught some fish, but uh, I did expect it to be, uh, be really, really, really good today, but uh, it certainly hasn't been. It's been okay, but uh, really did think it would be, uh, be really top today. But, such luck unfortunately well, that's fishing isn't it you just you never quite know you can read the conditions i have to say i do go a little bit on my pond fish at home and uh when i fed them today and they were a bit i mean an hour in and i just thought really i thought you'd be uh thought you'd be well up for a feed today it's warmed up it's we've had some rain it's freshened things up but uh they were a bit reluctant I did think at that point, mm, should I, should I stay in? Perhaps go in a day or two's time. Oh, missed that one. Sail away, boy. Well, as I haven't been out for a, for a week, I thought, no, no, I want to go out. Another male, absolutely covered in tubercles. These bumps they get when they're breeding. I believe they rub them up and down the female and that's what gets her to release her eggs. But uh, yeah, <laughs> fantastic. Right. Again, I'm sure it's a bream. I would imagine it is anyway. Yeah, nice one. Oh, that's a nice one. Well, there we are. No tubercles at all on that one, so I'm guessing that's a female. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. So guys, we'll have a quick look what we've got before, uh, before we get up home. Bit of a bit of a bream session this time around. <laughs> These very feisty males. Took a while to get going this evening, but we got there in the end, got going. Reeds, bits and pieces. Oh, that's the other one. <laughs> Lovely job. And we, had, and we had a few rud. And uh, there's that nice rud. And then you can probably see you there. Full of <laughs> silver bream. They're all definitely silver bream. There they are. Except that one. <laughs> That's it. So guys, what a funny old session that was. The uh, the wind has dropped as you could probably hear and it's, it's a lovely evening actually. It's about 10 degrees but it's 
it's nice to be sat here now but swim died the bream swim died completely uh, in the track and uh got to get up for work tomorrow so it's, it's about half ten there so i need to get off so yeah strange old session but uh i should be back again soon i did do the water temperature uh just out of interest and uh it was 12 degrees last time i was here it's 13.4 today so it has gone up i thought it would have in the last week but it doesn't seem to have helped with the fishing it may be that uh like those bream the um a lot of the fish have gone off to spawn that could be the the reason no roach noticeably in the catch today um only a couple of three rud usually catch lots of rud here so yeah it's uh could well be that they're all off got off for a spawn but good luck to them i say right now i will be out again i think midweek but for now thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed that tight lines enjoy your own angling many thanks to the channel patrons and i'll see you all again very soon